Their loved ones died in a foreign field, but now the Camp Bastion Memorial has been recreated at home. And speaking at this service at the National Memorial Arboretum, an officer with the Blues and Royals who served two tours of duty in Afghanistan. We can take comfort in the knowledge that they gave their lives doing a job that they loved, for a country they loved, and amongst mates who loved them most dearly. Always getting ready, making himself look smart. The families arrived this morning knowing what to expect, but it's still devastating to see reality carved in stone. The Webb family were here to remember their son and brother. Lance Corporal Jamie Webb of the Mercian Regiment was 24 when he was killed in an attack by the Taliban. It's respectful for all the fallen, and it should be there. It should be there for them because they worked so hard in Afghanistan, them soldiers that have been killed and what they went through when that happened to them. The Bastion Memorial was built by British soldiers for British soldiers and the faded flag which flew over the 453 names in Helmand flies over them still here in Staffordshire. Major Kate Philp knows several names on the wall and was herself wounded in the attack on her vehicle which claimed the life of a Gurkha. Whilst it's sad to know a number of them, it's also um, a, very, a very fitting way for me to be able to come and, and see, see their names printed on this wonderful wall um, and to be able to pay tribute for what they have done. It was a perfect summer afternoon to commemorate some dark days, but at least there is some corner of a foreign field that is now forever in England. Simon Viger, 5 News, Staffordshire.